streets and we're trying to catch up with him through traffic morning are you Scott Obro? yeah how you doing man? good I hope you don't mind me filming you I've been trying to catch up with you since Tower Bridge. You're whizzing <laughs> through traffic. Like a joke. You ready? I guess so. Yeah. Find out. How's the wife and kids? What? I'm married. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Are you coping with the professional life as an athlete? Um, yeah, I work part time. So oh, right. What do you do? I actually work for London Marathon. Do you? Yeah. Oh, nice one. So they give you as much time to train, right? I work three days a week. Oh. So, yeah. and where do you train. do your training? In the morning and in the evening. All right. Before and after work? Yeah. Yeah. Are you running on Sunday? No. Um, my running days are done. I'm trying to get them to return again, but they <laughs> they don't want to. So I'm on the bike following you. It gets, uh, gets harder as you get older. Oh, yeah. I'm 46 this year. <laughs> So, yep, it gets a lot harder. You could run London for your 50th. <laughs> Four years away, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of time to train. <laughs> Easier said than done well, when the time comes. Life always gets in the way, especially in London. Indeed. Yeah, you got the perfect job. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Training. Doesn't pay the bills. Uh, yeah, I know, but you know, you love, you're doing what you love. True. You know how far this is run? Uh, it's 1K. 1K? Yeah, I've done 1K before and the whole park's 2.2. Okay. Yeah. You're doing a tempo speed work? Uh, yeah, I just have a couple of miles at race pace. Alright, so this is uh, your race pace we're going at? You're not even out of breath. <laughs> this is not race pace. <laughs> I wish I did feel this. <laughs> this to me would probably be... be uh, my 5k when I'm super fit. <laughs> I'm interested in uh, nutrition, Scott. Oh, yeah? What's your food intake like? Uh, what do you like? In general or before a marathon? Yeah, in general, for a marathoner, for, for an athlete who needs to power his workouts. Well, that's a good chance to plug my sponsor, my protein. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean... My protein, yeah. I mean, this week, probably the carbohydrate intake goes up. Okay. Uh, what would you use for carbs? So, I'd probably have, like, a, a pasta, potatoes, meal. Yeah. Like a proper dinner for lunch and dinner. Probably, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Uh-huh. Um, and then also, uh, you can get the carbs in fluid form as well, like energy gels and stuff. Yeah. You're not glucose in, uh, gluten intolerant? No, no. Nah, you're not one of those athletes. Not one of those. Not one of those. Just a normal guy. Just <laughs> clocking in some world class times. <laughs> I don't even think it's okay. 
Why is that? You think it's more? Less. You see what happens when you when 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 you feel fit? The distance feels like nothing. How much mileage do you go through a week? Uh, probably about one 120. Ooh. 125. Miles or kilometers? Miles. miles. Oh my days. Yeah. That's some serious mileage there. Injuries? No, I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. Pint of good. pint of beer now and again. Ah, probably on Sunday. On a Sunday. Afterwards. Yeah. Favorite? It's okay. It's okay. Just about. Ah, there you go. What did you do that in? I don't know. I'm just finding. I need to do two by a mile. So. All right. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Yeah. That's a that's a very unrunning related. Well, you know, sometimes uh, the viewers get bored of uh, running <laughs> yeah, related topics. Going. That's why my first question to you was, how's the wife and kids? <laughs> There's lots my of girl. married men out there that want to know how you guys my girl, do it. My girlfriend is fine. <laughs> All right. No kids. <laughs> so you don't have a favorite movie then? Uh, I think I have lots of favorite movies. One. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> what do you think of the Kenyan athletes? Have you ever been out to do any altitude training with them? Um, yeah, I've been to Kenya a couple of times. Yeah. I wouldn't say I train with them. No, why not? <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> and they're used to altitude. All right. You know, the time, you know, I only go for like four or five weeks since. Yeah. And obviously, you take maybe a week, ten days to acclimatize. Uh huh. Couple, three weeks of training. Yeah. And then maybe sort of three or four days a little bit easier before you leave. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know a few of the Kenyans. <laughs> What's that about? I don't know. She's on the wrong I think side. She thought I was too fat to take up the whole path. Yeah, and she's on the wrong side of the road as well. Be able to keep up when I start my, mark. <laughs> my my left hand is getting sore, Scott. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to change over to the right. <laughs> is Mo Fora in it this year? No, no. He's not, yeah. No, he's sticking to the track. Oh yeah. I just made a video on him last night. Oh yeah? I think I'm gonna get caned for it. Why is that? Because I'm uh, I speak my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You don't mind me sticking around then? You can. I'm going All to right. start a mile in a minute. Alright, I'll keep my mouth shut. Just tell me when you start. I'm going to do just that loop we just doing. Look at this guy. Alright. So Scott overall is about to start his mile split. You guys got your clocks ready? All you negative people out there you couch potatoes i'm sitting on my bike rather than my couch off he goes damn 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 that's for a mile jeez this would be my <laughs> you need a hundred meter running towards me. Kenyan is a bit hilly. Good morning. That's it. Let's stay with Scott. He's shifting. Yeah. I think he's seen you the rather though, Scott.
road traffic coming up ahead. Oh, dog, please don't cross the road. Don't cross the road. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, I'll do that with you. <laughs> I'm the idiot. Sorry, ladies. I'm gonna have to avoid them. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Right. Bro, Gothel's got the way with the ladies. Scott. Let's get back on Scott's case. It looks like he's going for. Hey, look at that man. Scott, you know I've been tired. What's up? You know I've been tired. <laughs> That's what he says. Damn, that was awesome. Fantastic. The bikini's out a bit late. Sorry? The bikini's out a bit late. Yeah, I seen him out at uh, 7 o'clock last night. Yeah. Yeah, after 7. What, run? Yeah. We're out of the bar. <laughs> Uh, I'm not that close to him. <laughs> is that a bit windy today? Yeah, it is, yeah. The London Marathon uh, has a way with timing the race. Uh, come race day, it's always nice and sun sunny. It's cold, is that what they say? Yeah. yeah. Two or three freeze and start. Alright. What's for breakfast Sunday morning? Porridge, banana. Uh huh. Yeah, get that slow release carbohydrate. All right. Not the, uh, not the instant hit that you might get with honey or something. Okay. Otherwise, you find you get a spike. Ah. Uh -huh. You know that guy? What's that? Do you know that guy? No. no. What time are you going to wake up? Uh, what about 6.30? How many hours sleep before then? How many 
hours Yeah. I don't know. I normally find it hard to sleep the day before. Your mind keeps thinking about the race. Yeah. It's hard to switch off. They say it's all about the night before the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, uh, Friday night. Oh yeah. Get good sleep Friday, and I'll be okay. So what's this? Uh, this is the uh, athletics track where I work. Where you work? Hint, hint. C pop in, come and say hello to me anytime. Yeah, I work here. Uh, How long is it going to be finished? Well, you know, the English work at a different pace to the Chinese. <laughs> if it was the Chinese, it would be two weeks. Uh, they started last year, February. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Last year, February. Weather and uh, red tape and all that stuff. <laughs> Thank you. So are you working today? Uh, no, I'm off today. That's why I'm going to tail your ass all over the place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, I was working yesterday. I'm back to work on Friday. I work at the leisure center over there. So they're looking to knock down the building next and uh, hopefully they're uh, going to throw in some Olympic style gym, you know, for athletes. Okay. And not for uh, you office workers that work for... Is it for a Mondo truck? Mondo truck. What does that mean? The surface of the truck. Oh, I'm not sure, you know. I, I, I didn't get to ask. It looks Mondo. All right. Mondo is a lot harder. Okay. It feels good though. Looks nice. <laughs> For a change, they put in something else rather than football. Yeah. You know, athletics is like one of the minor sports, and it's good to see them investing in that. Got lots of kids in the area that are. It's part of that 2012 legacy that's. Uh, well, it's a bit late. Not really materializing. <laughs> I think it's a bit late. When we won the bid, it was 20, 2006. Yeah. I think. Uh, with the potential of this track and the potential of the youngsters in the area, they should have renovated this track. Uh -huh. It would have been pocket change for them. Exactly. And uh, we'd have had disabled athletes come down here and, you know... Who's, uh, who's playing for the track? Uh, Sava Council. Okay. Sava Council, yeah. Any grants? Uh, probably, I think. From the government or lottery or... No, like, uh... I know the London Marathon Church will trust normally. No, uh, not that I know of. No? No. We will have a local athletics team though. Who's that? Uh, it's run by a guy called David White. He yeah, works for the summer club? council. The track? Uh, they've just set one up. Oh, it's a new club? It's new club. New, okay. new club. So they're going to be looking to put things in place once. I trained at Mile End on Tuesday. Oh, yeah? Down oh yeah, even over here, kids need direction, you know, because uh -huh. uh, Xbox and PlayStation and things like making YouTube videos with Scott Overall have got them wasting their time away in life. You viewers, if you guys have any questions, comments, nah, <laughs> I'm not that big a channel yet. I will be. Why does your girlfriend know where you are? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I meant in terms of you asking the viewers if they have any questions. <laughs> Hello, is this a live text? No, I wish it was, Scott. I'd have a GoPro on me yeah, and a, a laptop mounted onto my bicycle. You need, a, you need the GoPro. I do. Oh yeah. No, oh, but sod bikini. I'm with you. He is? Isn't he a handsome young man? Oh yeah! Yeah! 
Sorry, Bikili, I'm with you, bro. Me? Yeah, because I, I had to bob and weave through the... Uh, they told me to... <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, they, they spelled out a nice F word for me. <laughs> you gonna watch it? You haven't told me where it is yet? I will do. As soon as you stop running about all over the place. <laughs> you got one more, more mile left? One more mile and then back to the hotel. Alright. And I think that's where you'll get rid of me. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. What do you think of vegans? Vegans? Yes! I don't know. You don't know? I like meat too much. I would never be one. Alright. I'm a vegan. Are you? Yeah, I think that's why I'm so cuckoo. Uh-huh. 46 years old, Scott. How did you get your iron intake then? Uh, Plant-based. Yeah. yeah, nature takes care of everything, son. Long before we arrived on this planet, she had all the maths figured out. Like cows and nature as well? Yeah, they get all the protein and iron and calcium and vitamin C and vitamin D and out of nature. They take care of... You see, protein... People get their protein second-hand. Cows eat grass. Grass, 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 and then their bodies convert that into the protein that we're after. Protein. Oh yeah, sponsor protein. Yeah. Yeah, lots of athletes like that as well. It's it's big and famous. What's your favorite flavor? Um, I like the chocolate brownies. Oh yeah. The uh, recovery, recovery brownies. Uh huh. I'll have them when I finish this. Oh cool. Sleep? You're gonna go uh, snooze after this? Yeah, I actually have a press conference at two o'clock. Oh no, please don't tell me you're going back to work. Tell me no, you're going no, back no, to no. sleep in your hotel. No, the press conference for the, uh, the British athletes. All right. No one's going to interview you the way I just did, mate. Uh -huh. Trust me. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think there'll be too many of them on a the bike. <laughs> Chasing me down. <laughs> what do you think of the youngsters of today? not given the opportunity to uh, do what you're doing. How did you get the mindset behind it and say to yourself, right, you know what, that's it. I'm gonna get myself a girlfriend and I'm gonna start doing marathons for United Kingdom. <laughs> I think it's just a progression. Progression. I started, started as an 900 meter board. All oh, right. Yeah, I think I read an article of you once. Thank you. How long ago was that? 800 meters? Oh, a long time ago. Yeah. Were you, were you around in uh, Wilson, what was his name, the former world record holder? Kip Keita? Kip Keita, yeah. yeah. I wasn't any good at 800 though. Huh? So then I moved to 50. You're running a mile at that speed and you're telling me you weren't any... Scott, you're good. Yes, but on a world stage. Right, you okay. You need to be fast. Right. And I don't have that top end speed uh -huh. that you need for 8.1500. If I had and your shoes. 5k these days. I know. Jeez, what's the world record? 12? 56, 1238, yeah. Wow. From that moment? Yes. Still stands, isn't it? Yeah. I think if he had raced Usain Bolt in the last 100 meters, he'd have beaten him. <laughs> <clears throat> so, progression. Stick with it, stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. Yeah. It's a choice. It's a you choice. Sacrifice. Maybe a full-time job, yeah. earning money, uh -huh. good, like decent money. Uh -huh. Well, you just have to run for a living and uh, live on the breadline. Well, wow. not quite the breadline. Living in London, though, that's hard. Well, it's exactly. Rent's so expensive. That makes it even more difficult. Yeah.
25 minutes of running with Scott overall. What an honor. Honestly. I'm going back. I'm going to start my mile that way now. All right, cool. Otherwise, I'll be running too long. <laughs> I see. Don't forget before you shoot off, I need to give you my uh, YouTube details. Are you on Twitter? I am. Just tweet me to me. Okay, cool. I'll have to follow you. you have to follow me? I'm going to follow you now. Morning. And he got rid of me. He finally figured it out. Wow. Thanks to Scott overall for that amazing interview. He's a down-to-earth guy. He took all the <laughs> silly little questions I had. Uh, that's how I like to do my interviews when I get the chance. Just be humble. Normal down to earth because that's what these athletes are they're normal people struggling to make a living out of life just like you and me thank you so much for watching let me see if i can catch up with kenyan he's a bit killing